Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Harsha Saraogi Gupta. I'm a dermatologist by profession and my key areas of interest is dermatology, aesthetics and trichology. I practice in Kolkata. I've been practicing since the last three years and I love to treat my patients and I take each patient very, very possessively and I try to bring the best in them. Today, I'll be talking about scar reduction treatments. Basically, what scars are is, a, is something which will take a little time for us to understand. So whenever your skin gets injured in any way, it could be any simple injury in the form of an acne or anything per se. Now, when your skin get in, gets injured, there is inflammation which occurs in the skin. And when it heals, it develops something called as collagen remodeling. Now, during this remodeling process, what happens is that uh, the skin although tries to recover itself completely but it in most cases it can't recover itself to the normal extent and that is when either there is a decreased production of collagen which causes a scar which is depressed in nature and there could also be increased collagen production which can produce a scar which is more elevated in nature. So these are the two causes why scar actually happens. So uh, firstly, we could treat scars by different methods depending on the kind of scar that you have. In case you have a post acne scar, it might be treated by simple treatments like a TCA cross or treatments in the form of derma pen and derma roller treatments. Also laser could be used as a resurfacing procedure, for example, fractional CO2 laser or erbium glass laser or different kinds of ablative lasers. Microneedling radiofrequency is another method which is a very good method of treatment, treatment of scars. Other than this, we could also use fillers and skin boosters to increase the skin hydration and lift up the scar tissue. Not to forget, subcision is something which we add to each and every scar treatment in most cases to actually break those strands in the skin which form due to the scar so that the collagen production is better and you see a good reduction in these scars. Talking about hypertrophic scars, treatment options range for from using simple treatments like an ILS, which is an intralesional triamcinolone injection, which can be combined with other procedures like a 5-fluorouracil or a hyaluronidase in injection. Now, other than this, the doctor can also opt for surgical options for scar treatment. For example, a complete surgical excision of the keloidal tissue and then suturing back to the skin. So these are the kind of treatments that is offered. So this is a fractional laser device, which actually is an ablative laser. So what it does is that it, when you use this laser on your skin, it removes the superficial layers of the skin, but not completely. It focuses on the areas where there's problem of acne scars. And these are the areas which are treated in a focused manner. So the laser actually evaporates the superficial layers of the skin. And when these laser fall deeper into the skin tissue, it actually helps in collagen remodeling so that the scar tissue heals better when it, when it starts healing and you get a good reduction in the scar density and the depth of the scar improves. Talking about fractional CO2 laser, uh, there might be around six sessions at a gap of a one month duration. And by the end of six months, you'll see that your scar has almost become negligible in a lot of cases uh, in patients who have very uh, scar, which is not too deep enough. In some cases, some ice pick scars may remain back because it's really very resistant to any kind of treatments. But in most cases, around 80% uh, to 90% improvement in the scar can be noticed at the end of six sessions. In case you want to get your acne scars or any other kinds of scar treated, you can get in touch with me here. I'm Dr. Harsha Saraugi and I'm available here at Wisdom. Thank you.